What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about this new Fakemon game, which is called Paramon. I'm going to be showing you the style, some of the battle mechanics, and some of the leaks that they've posted, and how I think they've connected. I don't think many people have kind of put two and two together. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start off by showing you two different pictures of the area, with the first one being an IP picture of what seems to be like a town of some sorts you can see the buildings the grass and the walkway and there's also a blue square on the ground I'm really not sure what that's about I would say it's a mistake but there's actually quite a few of them around the map I almost wonder if it's like a cutscene park or like a, a block for something that triggers an event so if anyone knows the answer to that then please let me know but yeah definitely interesting thoughts on it off the bat is I really like how they went for a more of a like uh, a modern classical approach it's kind of like you know like it's redesigning kind of the classic Roblox but in a modern style you know stuff like using uh, the Roblox terrain that we have now along with like Blender. I, I assume they use Blender for the houses, but I'm not really sure. So yeah, it's just really cool to see. Um, now I do want to go ahead and show you the next screenshot, which is of a you know, a building, the inside of a building. Um, it looks, at first, you know, I wasn't going to say it was the lab because it, it looked, you know, like all uh, just random assortment of items. It looked more like a storage house. However, I think it's actually going to be the Paramon lab. Um, and I'll get I'll get into that into a bit, but you can tell by the books on the shelf that there's obviously something there, and then all the stuff on the ground, the clutter, I assume we'll be seeing more clutter in there. So yeah, it definitely looks really cool. I'm pretty impressed by that door. Uh, you know, never thought I'd say this, but that door looks really, really cool. So now, next screenshot, we have the starters. We have the water starter, which is supposed to be a crocodile. We have the uh, bird, or the grass starter, which is supposed to be a bird. I, I don't know what type of bird. I think they've said it, but uh, I don't remember what type. And then the final starter, the fire starter, which is supposed to be a fox. All of them are really cool. Don't remember their names off the top of my head, but you can definitely find them out by joining the their Discord link, which is linked below. Fun fact about their Discord, they have been posting uh, two different types of Easter eggs that I find really cool and interact with the community. The first is if you invite three people, you are actually able to get beta tester. And the second is that if you go to the suggestion channel, you can actually see where one of the developers has been kind of having schizophrenic conversations with himself about uh, some of the moves and like nerfing them and it's just supposed to be like a funny way to leak like battle progress and stuff like that move designs um, really I think it's a pretty funny way that it's being done hard to explain without showing you any images but just join the discord and find out for yourself it's definitely really funny um, all right next image uh, is actually not an image it's a video so I will be showing you the battle mechanic so here we go let's go ahead and show you uh, sorry okay it looks like I already have the volume turned off but basically they just know they have some banger music so Avabud is the name of the grass uh, starter I presume and looks like you can you can see we have I'm gonna pause it I'm gonna back it up um, before he hits you see he has Z, which is Tackle, X, which is Leer, and C, which is Leafage. Not really sure how this will translate to mobile, assuming they have mobile support later. I'm guessing it'll just be like three more buttons below these. <coughs> you have almost, uh, you have different types of potions or items here. I wonder if we'll be able to click these arrows. Not completely sure. Obviously, he says here everything is a work in progress, so all of these will probably be polished up and changed a bit. Up here, we have what I assume is the opposing Avaluds, or Avabud's health, and then it's uh, energy, I think. And then we have uh, your uh, Avabud, or your your uh, Paramon. So, and then you can watch him. He hits it. Um, it That Avabud went for an attack. He's dodging. He hits it again. And then he finishes it, and he gets the victory screen, and it pulls him out of the grass, basically. And so that's why I believe that there will be grass encounters. You can also see a little bit of some of the other models, so definitely going to be pretty cool. Looks like there's a nice rocky area. This seems to be uh, 
some important building of a sort. I don't know. We'll find out later. It definitely looks way different from the buildings we've seen. And almost like a river with what will be like a bridge. Uh, not, not completely sure. We'll definitely see later. Um, so we do have that. And then we also have one more leak to show off. And that leak would be our final one, or our second to final one. And it's just of a simple Paramount that's been shown. Uh, music. And I think I said that right. And you can see that that building uh, with that door, uh, it has, it seems to be the same door that we saw earlier. And obviously that building is super majestic looking and it looks like it's going to be the lab, which is why I think that this is going to be the lab. You can obviously tell that it's the same door and this is obviously some part of that building, even if it's not the entrance to that building. Um, obviously doesn't look like the entrance. So kind of interesting to see that there. Uh, but you can also tell it's different from the other building we saw. Final image. This is for real the final image. It's just the capture device. Nothing else to it. Hey, you can see it's just almost like a Rubik's Cube with uh, a little picture of the uh, chest icon or, you know, a capturing. Um, pretty sure this is the capture device anyways, if I recall they said it is. So definitely will be really cool to throw these. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll have different themed ones. Um, I could definitely see some of these looking really cool if we have different themed ones. Anyways, super excited for Paramon. Uh, by my uh, title image, definitely actually think it's going to be better than TOT, and that's because it has one, not only does it have a unique battle mechanic where you can easily, well, I, I don't, I don't want to say easily, but if you have enough skill, the developers have said that you can beat other people even if you are at a severe type advantage, and it has happened when the developers were testing. Um, so I definitely think that's one really cool aspect of it that people will love, but not only that, but they have really nice models they have a really nice community that's super interactive and funny they also have uh some of you know really cool creatures some concepts uh there's a lot to the game that they've put in um, a lot that i think is going to go really far in the long run that tot just hasn't really shown in some areas and while tot is looking like it's going to have a really cool story paramon could just as easily have a really cool story that people enjoy um so it really comes down to scripting and what game preference and i think paramon is up there i think it's going to be competing with some of the big games right now so i think those games need to take you know uh you know watch out because definitely going to have some competition so for all those people saying that this game is just going to get overlooked because of tot i don't think that's true a lot of people including myself have been hyping up the game you know i know soren was also hyping up the game he's another really popular youtuber uh i e saw the game he was hyping it up speeder was hyping it up there are a lot of people who have been hyping it up who are have been in the community and it is definitely going to be up there with all of these people hyping it up assuming the developers do everything correctly not to mention logo the main guy who ran that twitter account i showed you he has been working on vfx and some of his attacks ha have looked really cool so i'm excited to see how that plays out when uh the paramon are battling each other uh that's all for this video thank you guys for watching uh like subscribe but most importantly join their discord it is important they post a ton of stuff that doesn't go on their twitter and so it's important to see both of those things definitely think you should check it out see you guys next time